Hi, this is Alan with FrontendAudio.com, and we're here with Pro Tools 9. Pro Tools 9 is a really exciting new development for uh, the Avid family, um, and this is something that really has changed the way that a lot of people are going to be able to use Pro Tools now. Um, basically, the difference is that there have traditionally been three different versions of Pro Tools. You had Pro Tools LE, Pro Tools Empowered, and then Pro Tools HD. Um, basically, they were all hardware dependent. You were either going to be using the, the DigiDesign LE hardware with um, Pro Tools LE uh, or M-Audio hardware with uh, the empowered version of Pro Tools. And then HD relied upon the, the DigiDesign Avid hardware uh, in terms of uh, the processing cards, uh, the HD core and Excel cards, and then the outboard uh, hardware converters and so forth. So now you have total freedom to use whatever hardware it is that you want to use so long as it's ASIO for Windows compatible or uh, Core Audio for Mac compatible. Aside from the third-party hardware support, perhaps the most significant of all the upgrades that's available in Pro Tools 9 is the automatic delay compensation. This is huge, especially for LE users. It's been a feature that's been available for, uh, for Pro Tools HD users all along. However, with automatic delay compensation now, you no longer experience the delay and phase shifts and so forth that occur whenever you insert a plug-in on your track. This is major. Plus, it's going to calculate for your, uh, for your converter delays and so forth as well. So now you actually have the same performance in that regard with Pro Tools 9 as you would with the HD system. Traditionally, Pro Tools has had a lot of paid upgrades, uh, things like the MP3 option or just the ability to do OMF transfers, uh, things that have usually been standard in a lot of other programs. You had to pay for DigiTranslator. Uh, now all of that's included. Um, traditionally with LE, as many of you know, uh, we were limited to 18 inputs and outputs. Um, now basically you have 32 channel simultaneous recording uh, as standard with this. Um, so you're pretty much limited by your hardware. If you need more than that, then Pro Tools HD9 has the capability to do 160 channels of simultaneous recording. And just one last thing, um, I want to reiterate this. If you don't already have an iLock, well, you're going to need one. Pro Tools 9 won't run without one. If you purchase the full version of Pro Tools 9, well, then it, it is going to come with a pre-authorized uh, iLock. Um, but if you get one of the upgrades, then you're going to need to get one. Of course, we stock these here at Frontend Audio, so just let us know, and, and, and it's something we're going to ask as well. Do you already have an iLock? Um, Authorization is really simple. So if you have any other questions, give us a call. We're here for you. Uh, and check us out online at frontendaudio.com. Thanks.